Welcome back. Another focus of these modules is to show you common equations that are used throughout math, science, engineering, a lot of different places. Uh, in this case, we're going to be looking at the area formula for a rectangle. That is area equals length times width. And one thing I want to emphasize is that this time we use the dot. A lot of the other times when we're doing multiplication, we use an x. Both are often used. In fact, if you start seeing math on a computer, you might also see a star used for multiplication. The reason a dot is the most popular these days is because when I use an x, what if my equation has x as a variable? It starts getting confusing, it looks weird, so they are interchangeable, but I'd recommend using a dot, especially if x is being used as a variable. So, okay, let's look at a equals l times w, and in this case, we're going to solve for w. So, what you going to go with? Orange. We got a equals l times w. And we want to get rid of L. We want W on its own. We've got to get rid of L. Well, it's multiplying W, so as always, do the opposite. Divide in this case. And we've got to also divide the other side by L. These will cancel. And we have A over L equals W. So what does this mean? The width is equal to area divided by length. And another thing we're trying to do in these modules is build towards interpreting. Because this is all variables. There's no numbers in here. A lot of people feel overwhelmed. They want to see numbers. But sometimes you're not. Especially in first year physics course, you might not see numbers too often. You still need to be able to analyze this. Figure out what's going on. So how does the width relate to the area? Well, how are we going to figure that out? One easy way to do it, plug in numbers and see. I want to see what happens to the width if the area changes. So in this case, if the area started off as, I don't know, 2, and the length was 2 as well, well, we'd have 2 over 2 equals our width. Oh, so our width would be 1, which looks a lot like my L. You see my problem about the x's I was talking about later. Be a little careful. Well, so width was 1. What if I increase the area? An important thing is to keep the length the same. So let's increase the area. We're going to make it 4 this time. And length is still going to be 2. So in this case, I'd have 4 over 2 equals width. So what do I get? 2. So what does this tell me? I increased the area and it increased the width. You might also hear a fancy term called these are proportional. They're directly proportional. They're related. When area increases, width increases. Since it's on the top, when this increases, so should this. Later on, we'll see what happens with a length case next time. Thank you.